African Mwala, the village content creator, right from central Uganda, yeah, and uh, about the Labia innovation because it's mainly done here in our country and most of, uh, most of the parts of Uganda they practice it. So we are used with it and I want to tell you each and everything about this practice, this cultural practice. So I went through the comments and uh, these questions I want to answer them. What is the purpose of labia elongation? First of all, labia elongation is pulling the labia in a way or of a cultural practice but this is the part. done mainly in central uganda uh, northern mm, northern parts of the of uganda and eastern parts of uganda and the west so that's where mainly this practice is done and also let me start right away to tell you the purpose of this labia elongation it's mainly done to kids when they are young it's and I was young, let me tell you my story. I was young and they used to tell me that I'll give back when I will well, give back easily when when I do this practice. So I did it in a in a way of thinking that I'll give back when I'm when I'm, I'm okay. So when growing up I realized this labia elongation is all about giving pressure. It is for the married to, for the married people to give pressure, especially sexual pressure. So it's, it's one way of allowing sexual feelings to your partner. So that's the purpose of the labia elongation. And there is that it was all about does it work at any age? Oh yeah, it's practiced at a very tender age, six, seven, eight years. That's when it is practiced. But then, when you grow up, you grow up easily and uh, it, uh, it always goes back when you go through your menstrual period. So you have to practice every month, every after your menstrual period. So you practice it so that it can be on that same level. So that's why you, do you know why we practice it at a tender age? It's when we, our body, it is still growing and it is easily done when you're young. But when you're old, it is so painful. Oh yeah. So that's why it is practiced at that tender age. Another question, how long does it take to be like at the, at the level you want it to be? So it is done, when you're young, it can be done for two weeks. And this is the level, task B. This is the level. So even if it ends at this level, at least you've done. But mainly, it is done at this level. And the people who do this, I haven't told you about this, it's not on, it's not like you can quiz. This is... This, the, you hold this part, you have to be with enough of the, of, of the herbal medicine. This is all the herbal medicine. So you hold this part, you hold this part and you hold this part. So you start pulling down there. Uh, it's done by a person. You yourself, you can't, you yourself, you can't do it when you're just starting. You can do it when you're after every month, but you, when you're just starting, you can't do it by yourself. So that's why I've told you that sengas are the ones who practice this. So they pull, you just you just open your legs to your senga, your aunt, and they start pulling this by holding this. So let me go and I show you another herbal medicine for the labia elongation. Let's go to the garden. This is a black jack. Okay, you also have to press it on your palms so that at least some water can come out of it. This is how it's working. And you hold this. So the particular herbal medicine, not all plants here in the garden do this. Not all. So you have to make sure you look out for this particular herbal medicine to, to do your thing. Okay, the last one we have here in the garden The last one is this one, but specifically, I don't, I don't know its botanical name, but this is the last one. This is its plant. 
but now we're gonna okay. let her show you you have to make sure the water comes. You can see the water is just coming out. Okay, now this is how you do it. it, that, it Go. Okay, so that's how for only two weeks. So when you're old enough, it takes like one month so that the labia can reach to this to this size. Okay, another question. Does it take a woman's lifetime to see the results? This question is, let me answer it. It doesn't take a woman's lifetime. That's what I've told you uh, just a few minutes, a few seconds ago. It takes like one month when you're old, when you're an adult to see the results. And it takes like two weeks when you're young, at seven years and eight and six. So that's how it, it's done. And also this that yeah, it stays there. Even if it shrinks, when you go through your periods and it goes back, but it doesn't go back like you are born. It at least shrinks a little bit. That's why they tell us to do it every after periods, every after month. So when you do it. Especially when you practice it when you're young. Another question is how long will labia, this labia, can it make you older or younger or, or, or can it lose a new or tighten you? So this is the answer. The answer is the labia doesn't affect your age. It doesn't affect your age. You remain as you are. If, if you're 22 years, you remain as a 22-year-old girl. So it doesn't elongate your years or even it doesn't shorten your years like being younger and being older. It doesn't do that. And also another thing, does it loosen your down apart or even tighten it? It doesn't. It doesn't loosen you. It tightens. What that what it does, it tightens your down apart. That's why I've told you it uh, it it arouses the sexual feelings of a woman. So that's the answer for this question. Let me let me answer another question. Another thing is, can you come to Nigeria and practice this? <laughs> Oh no, I can't. It, I can't come to Nigeria and practice this because it's really a long process, you know. But at least this message, this this video, can let you know how really how labia elongation is and how it it can be done and how long does it take. So, and you've asked about the herbal medicine. We have lots of herbal medicines. There are also herbal medicines which are which are powder, eh? but I don't have it. I don't have them here. But uh, also, there are also which are have, which are planted, planted, which are crops. So let me show you this. This is uh, one way of. This is this is the one of the herbal medicines we have here for the labia elongation. This is it. The, this particular plant. So let me show you how it's done. You press it on your palms, just simple. There's no any uh, any technique. You just press it on your palms. You press it and squeeze. When you squeeze, yeah, they the ones used. So this this is a bit watery. Eh? Yeah, it's a bit water than the other two herbal medicines I've shown you. So that's how we pull the labia here in Uganda. And it's a common practice here in Uganda and some African countries at large. So don't be surprised when you fall on, <laughs> on a girl from Uganda and she has a labia. Don't be so surprised because it is a practice mainly done in Uganda, most of the parts of Uganda. It's Many done in most of the parts of Uganda, and hope this video will be of good use to you. Now, those of us who are asking, can you come to this uh, to this country to show us what and what? If you're ready to do to practice this, you can watch out this video so that you can practice it by yourself. You can get someone to help you to practice to practice, and you will see this. Thank you for watching us. This is African Mwala, right from Central Uganda a village content creator thank you for watching us see you bye bye